Ms. Solomon Islands, Elsie Polosovai, has returned after completing her study program in New Zealand and has now resumed her various official engagements and also in preparation for the Miss Pacific pageant to which Solomon Islands will be host early next year. So I went back in August, right after crowning, and I got stuck back into schoolwork. So I completed my course in um, the second part of semester two. I also went back to work, and I also had to go carry on with the student politics with the student association that I did uh, back in Dunedin. And in August, I was lucky enough to be able to host a fundraiser for breast cancer, which I sort of did to end off uh, Pink Toba, which is the Global Awareness Month for breast cancer. So all throughout Pink Pinktober, I launched a campaign on social media to bring stories in from the woman, low country, and I got them to share what their experiences were of breast cancer and what the experiences were looking after people with breast cancer. And that was very touching. It was such a important but also meaningful um, space that many have expressed to me that they really found it comforting to be able to share their stories. Um, and then my Bake for Breast Cancer was an auction sale where we sold some cakes. And that was in October, end of October, I went back to Auckland, I moved back in with my parents, because this is my final year of study, so I'm all moved out of Dunedin now. Um, and then I got to be a part of the Melanesian Festival Aotearoa, which is the third year running. I was actually working with Coconut TV and Tiki Lounge Productions to host and do some uh, interviews for the day and just bring, bring out uh, what Melanesia is to the world. Ms. Solomon Islands, when speaking to Tavoli News from Coral Sea Resort, Ms. Solomon Islands hopes to continue her advocacy work in the communities, which she also draws her strength from being an example to other young women and girls. So from now, I'm really trying to do a lot of community engagement. So my, my purpose and um, sort of the goal that I want to achieve in this, uh, in this role is to have a lot of community and grassroots engagement. I think that's where the real impact comes from. It's from community work and from actually connecting with the people, not just maybe making awareness to them, but being physically there. So I was very grateful to be able to meet with the National Council of Women and the Honiara Council of Women yesterday. And that was uh, such a good session. I feel like it was uh, much needed to meet with um, the women of our community and learn from them. So I think coming up, I've got a few other community engagements lined up for me. It's just a matter of confirming with times. I'm hoping to do more school visits to talk to the young, younger women in our uh, primary schools, high schools, and as well as some events, some national events that I would be a part of, like the Carols in the Islands. And uh, I've got a fundraiser as well coming up on the 23rd of November, which is another good opportunity to connect with our people and raise some funds to help towards MPIP. Miss Solomon Islands, Elsie Polosovai, also looks forward to being the host for other contestants during the Miss Pacific pageant. Now that she's back, she looks forward to attending many more engagements. Um, and I'm also going to encourage everyone to take ownership and come out and show their support because I think collectively as a country, when we get opportunities to host, this is our time to shine and sort of bring to the region, not just the Pacific region, but also to the world, what Solomon Islands has to offer. And remember that when these girls come here, it's the experiences and the people that they meet and the services that they uh, provided with uh, the ones, things that they'll remember the most as if when you go to any country. So I really want to encourage all of us to take pride and ownership in this opportunity and so really support one another. Not just, it's not just for me, not just for uh, Solomon Host or the team, but it's for ourselves and all of us as a country. Miss Solomon Islands is spending the weekend at the Coral Sea Resort and Casino and she wishes to acknowledge Trent Allen for the arrangement. We'll hear more from Miss Solomon Islands next week in our bulletin.